right, Salukas, welcome back to the Chan Chan. The internet is a dark place. It's scary. The internet's terrifying. You go on the internet and all you see is people trying to sell their feet pics and stuff like this. Stop. Make it stop. But um, yeah, so today I found a bunch of weird ass videos and I just feel like I have to expose them to someone else. I'm not gonna be the only person who walks around with these videos in my subconscious. So are you. You're welcome. Let's get traumatized together as a Chan Chan family. So first up we have this. I'm I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna explain it. Let let's just watch. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. What? Can we make this illegal? <laughs> that was a TikTok by Luca Marchisi. Chessy, Chessi, he's a model. He wanted a better jawline, so he chews on whatever that is. Upon further reading on this very credible news source lad Bible, I guess that rubber thing is a jaw training device. Gives you the jawline of your dreams. It was not a good time. I had just broken up with my girlfriend, which made me feel that she no longer liked me physically. I feel like a real jerk. So he felt insecure because his GF dumped his ass. So he was like, you know what I need? A jawline. This was the result, not maybe what he wanted, but now he's getting hate on TikTok. I'm just here to say it looks good. Just kidding, but um, if that's what he likes, it's different. It's unique. That man's chin area brought me down a side of TikTok that I don't want to return to. I don't want to go back. People are doing all sorts of stuff to their body. And I'm mad. I'm here to tell them to stop. Just kidding, they can do whatever they want, but what is this? <laughs> Just kidding, that is scary. What if it like slips around your hand? What if you wake up after a crazy night, the little cute crown in your skin is now around your nipple area. What do you do? Do you call 911? Cause they aren't gonna give a shit. Cause you're the one who put the queen thing in your body, the crown in your skin. It hurts to look at, but I respect her journey. You guys can do whatever you want. Just kidding, stop. Take it out. Just kidding. Um, whatever you want to do. I mean, at least that person didn't put a spider underneath their skin. Look at this. No! <laughs> Just kidding, do whatever you guys want. Like if, if that makes you happy, keep doing it. Some people want bugs underneath their skin for fashion. It's fun, it's cute, it's the new trend, it's the moment. Everyone who's anyone has bugs under their skin. The tongue though, like that, that tongue. That tongue though. That would be a good physical attribute to have because I feel like you would win any argument. Someone's talking smack, eh. Bring out the tongue, they'll, they'll be quiet quick. You won that argument. Also just like licking an ice cream cone, like where y'all are like, uh, which is annoying. He can wrap around the ice cream cone both ways. Can you do that? No, Jessica, you can't. These hoes could never. I'm getting my tongue cut right after I'm done filming this video. This type of body modification, it really gives the same energy as Lil Uzi Vert's forehead diamond. I mean, that's gonna get an infection. That's what I'm worried about. Like, yes, it looks cool. It looks sick, dog. But what happens when you wanna sleep on your stomach? What happens when you're in bed doing one of these? Ow, this is banging on the diamond, which is like a hundred million dollars, $24 million for his brain diamond. Why would you announce the price. Now if I see him in public, I'm gonna steal it. I'm not even a robber. I don't normally rob. I'm not the type of person who's like, let's steal, you know? But if someone's walking around with a $24 million diamond, I'm gonna rip it out. Cause I wanna that. Sorry, if I see him at Subway, if I see him at Quiznos, if I see him at Cold Stone Creamery, I'm gonna rip it out of his forehead. He probably has security, but if he didn't, I would attempt it. I'll rob him. Just kidding, you shouldn't rob anyone, but like, I would be tempted if I saw him at Sonic Drive-In. I want a forehead diamond now. How long until Claire's, along with their ear piercing station, has a forehead diamond implantation set up in a corner of one of their stores? 
Six months? I'll give it six months before every preteen in America has a forehead diamond. All thanks to Lil Uzi Vert. Today you're going to learn something about eyeball tattoos. The procedure is absolutely painless and it took maybe five seconds for one injection and okay i didn't want to get an eyeball tattoo before but she said it's painless i'll get one i'll get one today and of course you can get blind oh you just might casually go blind <laughs> there's that though warning you may go blind it might be worth it though like she has a black eye going on but i kind of want to get a pink eye so like I always have pink eye because it is cheap to have pink eye. Everyone gets it like when they're a kid, but I want to just have pink eye like all the time, every day. Just like walking in being like, yeah, guys, I'm feeling under the weather. I have pink eye. For the rest of my life, everyone will feel bad for me because I have pink eye. Wait. I'm doing it. This 32-year-old Frenchman, Anthony Lafredo, even removed his nose. Here's a before and after of what he looks like now. Dream now is to remove his skin and replace it with metal. Fun. He wants to replace his skin with metal. Cool. Good idea. <laughs> What? How does it bend? You need to bend your skin. And if it's metal, you're stuck like this. No way out, because it's a metal body. I mean, do what you want. And please document it, because I want to see. People are always like, wow, everyone these days has lip injections and filler. Everyone looks the same, but like no one talks about how there's people who want to be aliens. He removed his nose. If aliens ever come to Earth and they don't let him go into the spaceship, that would be sad. He's like, you guys, like I have metal skin. Let me into the spaceship. And if they still don't let him join the alien squad, that'll be a sad day. So sort of in the same vein of all those TikToks, um, this Twitter is the strangest videos online. They claim they have the strangest content on Twitter. Let's see if they do. Is it gonna shake us, traumatize us? We can only hope. Okay, that's impressive. That impresses me on such a big level. God is a woman? Okay, Ariana, try again. God is an Aquafina water bottle. God is an Aquafina water bottle at a gas station. That's obviously God. How did it how did it do that? There's no other way to explain that. I'm aroused after that video. Wow. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Did I just witness crab abuse? What was that? <laughs> what? What happened? What was that noise at the end? <laughs> All I know is I'm scared. Oh no, there's there's a lizard on the doorbell cam. Don't do it. She's getting brave. <laughs> Gosh. I am done. My anxiety just shot through the roof. I don't know if where this footage is from, like they have lizards just hanging out, but if I ever saw a lizard, I would never put my finger near it. I wouldn't even attempt it. Are you kidding? A lizard. Unless it's the Geico lizard who like talks and stuff. I don't want it near me. Get it away. People who have pet iguanas. Ew, stop. I'm not saying all lizards should die, but I'm just kidding. I love lizards. Dude, there's like a big old something breaking up in the sky. Holy shit. Ooh, falling out of the sky, dude. Like, what the fuck? Okay, aliens confirmed. That is 100% aliens. Just kidding. Um, upon further inspection, that's Elon Musk's sky daddy ship floating or something. I don't know. One of his sky daddy ships. Isn't that what he calls them? It was floating in the sky or something, but I'm gonna pretend it's aliens. I feel bad for the guy who filmed that because you know, in the moment he was like, this is gonna make history. This is aliens. Spaceship. Come and get me, aliens. Come and get me. Uh. But then he shows his friends and they're like, yeah, that, that was just SpaceX. That was just one of Elon Musk's things. Anyway. <laughs> did she mess up his banks? I don't even care about like, where did the moose come from? What about her window? Did she mess up his haircut? Cause if he now has crooked bangs because of that moose, he should sue. <laughs> <laughs> Was this filmed at a furry convention? Also, where's the sign up for the next one? Asking for a friend. I wish I knew the context to this video. Why was it filmed? When, where, how? But we'll never know. We'll never know. Girl, what are you doing? This isn't gonna end well. This obviously isn't gonna be a cute video of girl feeding animals. Cute, fun, fresh. This is the strangest videos online. What's gonna happen? 
อะไรอุ้ยไอเนี่ยกินปลาน่ะ What is that thing? Is that an alligator? Is that like a giant lizard? Komodo dragon? Stop! I'm never going near any body of water ever again for the rest of my days. Ew! Get it away from me! Am I on monkey only fans? Where am I? Does someone own a monkey? And they're just feeding it Hidden Valley? Or like, was that just in a Burger King trash can? What is going on with the world these days? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that owner loves her dog. Like I, I would let go of the leash. I, I love my dog, but if my dog's pulling me on my stomach on cement, my stomach just chafing against a parking lot, I'm letting go of the leash. You're, you're on your own. Hope I find you again. This is your fault. You're on your own, bitch. 911, let's go. And people wonder why kids have anxiety nowadays. What kind of purge toy sound effect is that? That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Last but not least, we're actually gonna watch a very sad video from this Twitter account. It's very sad, it might trigger some. It's always good to end on a depressing note. One more time. Just one more time. And that's why you never hear about SpongeBob anymore. He came out as gay, then this glove, this homophobic glove, found him and did that to him. Wait, is SpongeBob gay? Wasn't it something like that or did I dream that? Is SpongeBob gay? Oh, he's asexual. Cute. I mean, at the end of the day, he's a sponge. He's a literal sponge. So I don't know why I'm concerned about his sexuality, but I am. I want to know what he's into. Turns out, nothing. Good to know. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for coming along on this strange journey. Check out the Twitter account. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss another video like this. And with that, I'm gonna go. Bye! <laughs>